Hello, welcome to Hands On Art at Home, where we're going to share a story and a painting activity today. Today's story is all about wild animals. I wonder if you'll be able to spot them all as we go through the story. It's a very clever book. It's called Dear Zoo, and it was written and the pictures were designed by Rod Campbell. He was very, very clever because they're not just pictures in the book. You have to lift a flap to see the pictures. Now, it could be that you've got this book yourself at home. You might want to run and get it so you can read along with me. I'll give you a little minute to do that. Do you have your book? Here we go. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. And they sent me a huge yellow crate. And I opened the crate and inside there was an elephant. My goodness. Well, that won't fit in my house. He's too big. So I sent him back. So, the zoo sent me a tall green crate and the head of the animal was poking out of the top. I opened it up and there was a giraffe. But he was just too tall. So I sent him back. So the zoo sent me a red crate with the word danger written on it. Oh, what could possibly be in here? I opened the crate and it was a lion. Well, he was too fierce, so I sent him back. So, the zoo sent me a blue crate with two doors. So I opened up one. Ooh, there's a bottom. And the other one. And there was a camel inside. But he was too grumpy. So I sent him back. So the zoo got to thinking. And this time they sent me a basket. What could be in the basket? I lifted the flap. Oh, it's a hissing snake. Oh, well, he was just too scary. So I sent him back. So the zoo sent me a box. A small box. I opened it up and inside was a cheeky monkey. Well, he was too naughty. So I sent him back. So the zoo sent me a very small pink box with holes in it. What could possibly be inside this one? I opened it up and inside was a frog. Well, he was just too jumpy. So I sent him back. So the zoo thought very, very hard. And they sent me a different type of basket with a handle on the top. I opened up the basket. And inside was a puppy dog and he was perfect. So I kept him. I do love this story. And I really like that you have to lift up the flaps to see what's inside all the different crates and boxes and baskets. So we are going to do a painting activity today based on the storybook. And I thought that we would do a painting activity that has the lion in it, because he's on the front of the book. 
Now for a lion, we're going to need lion coloured paints. So we're going to need red and orange and brown and yellow. And we're going to need a paintbrush. We're going to need paper, a bigger piece of paper this time. And of course, our hands. So I'm going to give you a little minute to go and get all of the equipment that you need. I'm going to put a little list up on the screen so that you can ch just check that, make sure you've got everything. And I'll see you in just a little minute. Off you go. Do you have everything that you need for our painting activity? Fantastic, we can get started. So we said that we were going to use four different colours, yellow, orange, red and brown. Now I'm going to start with the lightest of those, which is the yellow. OK, so I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to dip it in the yellow paint and cover my hand with the yellow paint. Now, that might take a little minute because my hands are quite big. They're grown up sized hands and they take longer to paint than yours do. I'm going to cover them with the paint, get it all swooshed around lots and lots of it until it's completely covered and then I'm going to pop my hands around the piece of paper okay here we go I'm going to pop one here and another one that's two and I'm going to add some more paint nice and quickly so that it doesn't dry before I get to use it. I'm going to put two more handprints on here. It's a bit tricky, I've got to twist all the way around. And another one over there. It's a little bit like a clock. The next colour I'm going to use is orange. Now because the colours are getting darker each time, I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm going to go straight into the orange paint with my brush, pop it all over my hand. Here we go. And then I'm going to pop my handprints onto here in between the orange in between the yellow ones. Here we go. One. Maybe you can count with me. Or maybe you're painting with me today. I'm going to put some more orange paint on my hand. And one more down here. Hooray! So what came after orange? We said yellow and orange and then red. Now red is darker than orange. So again, I don't need to wash my brush. I'm going to go straight into the red paint and pop it onto my hand. There we are. A little bit more red because I've missed out the thumb. And I'm going to put these in between the colours that are already on there. One, two, three, and four. Hooray! And now finally, my darkest colour of all is the brown. I do like using brown paint on my hands. And do you know why? Because it makes me think of chocolate. Here we are now. Almost there. A lovely brown hand. And I'm going to pop those on around here now. One, two, three, four. Wow! 
Now this time I am going to have to clean my hand because I do make an awful lot of mess when I'm painting. There we go, just as well I had my cloth handy, handy, had my cloth ready. There we are now. This is where the magic happens because you're probably still thinking that doesn't look very much like a lion. But if we do this, we can put a face in the middle of this wonderful mane and there is our lion. It goes roar. I bet you can make an even better roaring sound than me. I do hope you've had fun making your lion's mane today. I know I did and I got to make lots of mess as well and covered my hands with paint. It would be lovely if you could send me photos of your work. I would love to see them, especially your little faces inside the lion's mane. And I know Artie would love to see them too. You could pop them on our Facebook page or you could email them to me. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye now.